K-pop has been around for several decades in the US and in Europe. But it's a relatively new phenomenon in China. Hip-hop is not just music, but also clothes, gadgets and internet services. So it also represents market opportunities. A Swiss company from Canton Thurgau has made a big step into the Chinese hip-hop scene by managing the country's biggest hip-hop portal. The music website offers everything hip-hop fans need. News about stars, tickets and concert videos. My partner Aman had experience in technology and had been a hip-hop star. I was a company advisor in China. We both knew there was a need, so we did it. The former DJ and the financial advisor fly to China regularly. Basically, it's uh, to re-energize, to, to look at our project from a, a thousand-foot view, because we always get great ideas while we're out there, because this is our key market. So it's very important for us to be there, to spend time with our team, and to, to basically give the whole project a boost again. Shanghai is where the internet company has an office. Spindler and Aman managed to gather the one million Swiss franc startup capital in just three weeks. The Chinese staff interview hip-hop stars, they film concerts and provide news and music content for the website, which is visited by 3 million fans every month. Our clients are between 20 and 30 years old, good consumers who like cars, fashion and technology. We give them information about different brands. The more hip-hop fans visit the portal, the more paid ads flow in. The Swiss partners predict a turnover of 110 million francs by 2010. Here they're in a meeting with a potential investor. Jason Cao is interested in collaborating with the Swiss. More than a dozen people, dozen business plan presentations, uh, you know, a week, more than a dozen a week, but this is the most creative, uh, most of the interesting. Next stop, Beijing. The Swiss are here to visit the artists' quarters. Chinese hip-hop is searching for its own identity and its own venues. You, you can see the culture is taking a hold and it's, and it's definitely developing in its own style. And this is what's unique and this is what's important, that they have to find their own way in hip-hop. In the evening, the two business partners go to a concert. On stage, a half-Chinese, half-Swiss hip-hopper is performing. Here, hip-hop's not about sex, drugs and rock and roll. China is a communist country. It started opening up 30 years ago. In Chinese, they say mum mum lai. Slowly, slowly. But hip-hop is developing quite fast. International companies want to get into the scene sooner rather than later, and the Swiss are opening a door. <laughs>